No, no, Matt, you can't sneak around this one. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to say a word without getting in trouble. Matt, it's San Diego Comic Con. You can't say the word. Okay, to my defense. You see my skin color? I'm just saying, I can oh say God. the word if I want, oh. but they won't let me. All right, and it's time okay. to start the show. Wait, wait, <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Not. Let's start the show here. All right, we have one hour. Does anybody speak Japanese here? <laughs> All right, cool. Good answer. All right, then y'all will understand if I say Kokujin, and it's fine. Cool. Oh. Don't. Okay, anyway, welcome everybody to Most Extreme Ranking Challenge. This is our first time doing this at San Diego Comic Con. We are a uh, YouTube show where uh, we play a little game and we try to create the most professional, most uh, amazing lists of anything geek culture, anything we really feel like talking about. And uh, I'm Tyler, your host. I also run the GrandGeekGathering.com and we have Unnecessary Debates, which will be here for the seventh year. <laughs> Tomorrow night in the next room over at 23 ABC. But enough about me, who are you? I'm Anna, and I'm never right. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you from? San Diego. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm from the Most Extreme Ranking Challenge and a couple other podcast shows. All righty. Who are you? Hi, everybody. My name is Lamar, aka Lamar the Con Guy. Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, all Lamar the Con Guy. Ah! I'm mostly known for doing TTRPGs on every other channel but my own. <laughs> all righty. And who are you? Cool. Hi, my name is Matthew. Tyler was like, I need another black guy, and I was like, sure. No. <laughs> That's why I'm here. He owns Nerdy Bit. Nerdy nah. Bit co-owner of Nerdy Bit Clothing. They just asked for me to be here. That's and it. We are the four uh, hosts of the show, and down there is our special guest. I'm crashing this party. My name is Michael Tanner, and I'm a comic book writer. Just Google me. Yep. <laughs> He's the co-creator of Orcs in Space, where he wrote with Justin Roiland. Uh, from Oni Press and also Junior Braves the Apocalypse. What, what a name dropper you are. Yeah. <laughs> you know Justin Roiland, the creator of Rick and Morty. That is real, though. That is real. But um, before we start, how this works is this is kind of like Cards Against Humanity, where uh, we're going to be ranking, hopefully, the top three and the bottom three Marvel villains of all time. We're going to be doing movies, bringing everything together to create the perfect list. We are all like Marvel historians. We have all seen a Marvel co a comic book and a movie. So we are definitely know what we're talking about. And we're going to go one round at a time and you guys are going to pick after we say who we think belongs in what ranking. And that's going to be the solidified list. And this will be on every website. TMZ, all of them are going to say, these guys don't know what they're talking about, and they made this horrible list. But we're going to have fun today with it. So uh, we're going to be doing the, the top three, three best Marvel villains of all time. And you guys, again, are going to be the judge at the end of the round. I've been talking this whole time, so I'll keep talking. It's the only thing I'm good at, my mom says. All righty. So Marvel villains. We've had, it's, it's, it's a very vague thing, right, Mr. Mr. Comic Book Writer? It's, it's kind of a vague little area of what, what is good and evil, like who is a real villain in the Marvel Cinematic? I or mean, Marvel yeah, if you want to get pompous about it. But there's, <laughs> <laughs> and pompous I shall remain. No, there's uh, heroes and there's villains. Come we, on. There's a character that is technically a superhero, but I, she's cool. She's really cool. But when she goes, like, bad... It's awesome, and I, I, I love her very, very, very much, and we got to see her be a villain again for the first time in a long time, uh, recent, like very recently in a movie called The Multiverse of Madness. Spoiler alert, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet. Scarlet Witch, like House of M, uh, like Multiverse of Madness, just everything at the beginning of her. I think sh when she's evil, she is just straight up boss and awesome and I care way more about her than any of the superheroes who are fighting against her especially with how like <laughs> how Doctor Strange she was, she was so cool she made that movie I got, I, Doctor Strange I thought was so boring and America Chavez was really awesome too but like I wanted more Scarlet Witch than anything else in that movie so I don't know if you guys agree but that is my pitch for the third best Marvel villain of all time Scar Scarlet Witch Wanda Maximoff Daughter of Magneto. Scarlet Witch did nothing wrong. <laughs> Bringing that in. Scarlet Witch did nothing wrong. Thank she you. did it for the kids. It's not a villain. No, she did it for the kids. She did nothing wrong. She did wrong. it for the kids. She made look out of nothing. Look, the because ends, of her grief. The ends justified and the a whole means. bunch of people and no. enslaved a whole town. Matt, who's your pick? My pick 
All right, hear me out, since I'm talking. Joss Wheaton. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Say it again. Joss Wheaton. Wheaton or Wheaton? I don't know how to pronounce it, nor do I care, but Joss Wheaton is the worst, the best Marvel villain ever. Like, first of all, you saw how Avengers was, right? That was pretty bad. Uh, uh, Age of Ultron was also pretty rough as well, too. And not only did he mess up Marvel stuff, he also messed up DC stuff, too, with Justice League. So overall, he's evil and bad. So that's why he's the best Marvel villain. Third best. Third best. I agree. Joe Wheatfins is the <laughs> well, Michael Tanner backed me up. I'm just no. saying. I'm okay. so confused. Wait, you said Avengers is bad? Yes. I mean, I don't want to defend Joss Whedon. I'm not Thank trying you. to do that. I'm then just, why are you arguing like against to me? Defend, nah. I would like to defend no. the Avengers movie. No. Just back me up and just roll with it, okay? No. Yes. Uh, He's what? Not wrong. Yeah, just, just trust me on this. Michael okay? Tanner, you have, do you have your, your pick? It's a... Oh, my pick for yeah. third best? Third best Marvel third villain. Be okay, this is where we're going to get in the weeds because I'm more, I'm more going to go from the comics from my point of view. Third best Marvel villain is Apocalypse. Oh, come on. He's got win. a great look. He's got a big A on his belt buckle. That's, that's bold, ladies and gentlemen. When you have your first initial, not your last initial. I could see a last initial. The first initial on your belt buckle... That's pretty, that's pretty fierce. Yeah, can you like imagine sitting with it too? Like, is that, yeah, like he could, it, pokes, it pokes you every which way. And he's tall. That's a bad guy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you the writer on the panel? <laughs> he's tall. <laughs> he's tall. Like that guy's like well over like six foot seven. That's oh a bad God. guy. <laughs> I mean, if you see Shaq when he was younger. Uh, yeah. I mean, Shaq Fu was pretty evil. I'm just Shaq Fu is pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Ever see Apocalypse and Shaq in the same place? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I hate you all. I'm not saying none to that. No, oh my no. God, I I want that casting now more than anything. Shaq really? is Apocalypse. Shaq is Apocalypse. Oh Oscar God, yeah. Isaac had his chance. Hey, hey, hey. Give it to Shaq. Leave, leave Oscar Isaac out of it. Can't just. All right, I'll, I'll bring some sanity to this <laughs> bloody panel. Um, yes, there are comic books. He's slightly different than comic books. But I got to tell you, the third best is Killmonger from Black Panther. You know why? Because everybody, especially the people of color, were like, ooh, I get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We get it. I understand. But he did nothing wrong. He did no, 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 no my brother, no, he my brother. Wrong. Look, I him. understand. <laughs> he did nothing wrong. Nope. But he Aaron Yeager the whole thing, and so <laughs> no, no. But Killmonger was amazing because it, it simply because of like I'm making a joke, but like legit, like that was one of the few villains I've ever seen where it's like I can see how you got here. There's a lot of villains that we like. That's just pure ego. That's craziness. But Killmonger had like a, re, a, 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 a reason that we can understand, and that that's hard to do with villains. In the movie, yes. In the movie, yes. In the comic books, he's yeah. Yeah, he's just like I'm angry, man. Like <laughs> he had a reason. <laughs> in the movie. In the movie. <laughs> Lamar, I think he needs to be higher. No, 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 not no, 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 no. All right, all right. You will not. <laughs> well, okay. The reason I think that is because I think number three should be Hella. Because, oh, all right, I'm, I'm basing mine on how fabulous they look, and she has a fabulous entrance. Stop, stop. Okay? She's amazing. Thank you. She's and so she's, hot. she's, yes. <laughs> and she can do an outfit change real quick. She's really powerful. She comes in and takes over, and she ha she's not. She's not sorry about it. Like, she's going to go in and take what she wants. So, she should be number three. I, I, I will say, I, I can't watch Lord of the Rings the same every time. I'm like, man, like, it's like Gladriel's okay. I just want more Hela. Like, exactly. Yeah. I had the biggest crush on Gladriel. Is that too much about me? <laughs> no. Marvel. So, Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alrighty, guys, we have five choices for the third best Marvel supervillain of all time. We have uh, Scarlet Witch. You're supposed to cheer oh, if yeah, you agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forgot to say that part. We have, we have Hela. We have Thank Killmonger. You. Really? <laughs> I mean, there's only there's, there's only, only four there's only four of us. There's in the only room. three of us in here. That's we it. have we have Josh Wheaton. <laughs> That's Thank awesome. you. That's Thank you. I hate all of you. What I say? I hate all of you. Not wrong. Or we or we have Moon Knight's previous choice uh, <laughs> or Apocalypse. Did He's Josh so Wheaton tall. Win? Josh yeah. Wheaton just won. Worst villain. You know Best what? villain. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm okay with. No, I don't want Josh Wheaton to win anything, though. Well, <laughs> he, he won this third. list. Too late. He's Too late. Number three. This is your panel. Mm -hmm. You caused this. It's your fault. It okay. Let right. the audience choose. Don't tell TMZ what happened today. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We're gonna go on to number two with uh, Josh Wheaton as the third. Got that right. <laughs> yup. The third best Marvel villain of all time. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Matthew, you won. You want to go first? Sure. Why okay. not? Okay. Hear me out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hulk. No, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hear me out. Not Bruce Banner. No. He is a scientist, and he's great. But Hulk is like the best villain ever. Because hear me out. If you're out dealing with some stuff, and Hulk grabs your car and throws it at a villain and misses, you no longer have a car. Hulk <laughs> don't care. He has anger problems, he is a menace, and he don't give no care whatsoever. Actually, he needs to go to therapy because he has such an anger problem and is the worst villain. He has hurt people. Look, y'all saw Avengers with Josh Wheaton, right? Y'all saw how, <laughs> y'all saw how bad he messed up Loki. Like, Loki is bad, but like, what he did by slamming him on the ground was very cruel. That's evil. That is pure evil. And then when he goes back to normal, to like Bruce Banner, he's like, I don't remember nothing, and that's not none of his problem or anything. But Hulk, evil. evil. Hulk did nothing wrong. Yeah, I just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Once again, if just he throws a Hulk. car at a villain and misses, you have no car no more. He ain't gonna pay for it. I, I think the, I think the argument is intent. He didn't Bruce intend Banner, to do Bruce, it. But like, he beat up one of his friends on like Planet Hulk. Were, were like, they, wait, wait, was his friend acting dumb though? It was Thor. It was his friend acting dumb though. No, it was Thor. Right, shouldn't have been there. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk evil, I'm just saying, all right? Hulk's misunderstood. No, he is not. He's, he's not a gentle giant. No. He's no. No, <laughs> no one's arguing that. that. No one's arguing that. No. Evil. I'll, I'll go next, because evil. I just want to bring some sanity to this. Thing. No, you don't. Evil. Now that I look at my number two, I realize there might be a small pattern to my picks. Uh, going back to people who I understand, but come on. Um... Magneto. Oh, God. Okay. Now, Magneto in every iteration of him from the movies to the comic books have always been a G. Um, Ian McKellen played a much, much skinnier version of Magneto from the comics. But if you looked at Magneto and you saw like what, where his history came from, not the Origins movie, let's pretend that didn't happen, but um, his origins, his whole thing, the reason why he is the way he is, I get it. I understand. Got pumped the brakes a little bit. But I think he's very good. Like, he's overall very strong, and he, like, he started off as a, 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 a better guy. <laughs> and just, he had, a, he had a philosophy change. It was like, and if you know anything about X-Men, it's like Malcolm versus Martin, and they switch towards the end, but y'all ain't ready to hear about that. But anyway. It's only three um, of us. <laughs> it's only three of us in this room. <laughs> four, four and a half, anyway. Four, four and some quarters. Five four. and three quarters. Five anyway, and three Magneto. quarters. <laughs> Magneto, second best Marvel villain, um, legitimately in my opinion. I have a genuine question, though, like, especially with how you describe it. Is Magneto really a villain? It depends on he still has like no, a group you, of like, I mean, you like, as a human, he is a villain. Yeah, but honestly, have you like the villains in the comics are 
or the the humans in the comics are horrible. Look, I know in 2022, all just a bunch of Mike Pence's. I know like, in 2022, oh, wow. we have to have a backstory for everybody. It's like why everyone's crying on the inside. No, Magneto will kill you. He did some horrific stuff to Wolverine. Yeah, he almost and he almost ruined the, the Wait, Statue of Liberty. But look at how Wolverine is though. Yeah, but still though, like Wolverine, Wolverine has more of an evil intent, but still does good with it. Magneto might have good intent, but he does evil with it. Doesn't the end justify the means? Though? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Next for the Brotherhood. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll go next to somebody who is actually. Oh no! The movie. Oh, the maybe not. A, uh, okay, he's a villain. He's a villain. He's a villain. Uh, Wenwu Mandarin. The Mandarin oh, is such a good, such like such a good. The, the original Mandarin. The original Mandarin, oh, okay. not the one in the movie. No, I'm, 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 I'm putting them all together. Okay, I'm, you know what? Okay, no, not Iron Man three though. That's not. You can't say that if you're gonna put them all together. No, no, no. Come on. Just, we were that, giving you out the guy. movie for a second there. He was. He, he didn't mean. He was like the Mandarin of like oranges. You know, like Mandarin oranges. That's like that was. Uh, we tried to help you. I know. Yeah, just, I know. I, I just dug myself a grave like I always do. No, the Mandarin is so cool, and he's he's so evil, and the only good Iron Man villain. Um, like Iron Man villains in the comics are just so no Tony's so e bad. Tony's ego is pretty bad. Oh yeah, to yeah. Tony, 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 and alcohol are the best villains for for Iron Man. Ooh. And then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that, that, was I, that was a little too real. That was a little too real. Bottle. Am I wrong? No, I'm, I'm right. It's fine. It, it, uh. Oh, this just went down. The Mandarin is a wizard that like we that has still stuck around and people keep keep clamoring for, and they try to reinvent twice into the MCU. And I don't know. I mean, I love Wen Wu. I love Shang Chi is honestly one of my top two favorite Marvel MCU movies so far, and because mostly, well. <laughs> I mean that man. That man is gorgeous. Not Wenwu, uh, Shang Chi. I am forgetting his name, but yeah, he's gorgeous. Aquafina. I mean, Aquafina. 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 <laughs> Beautiful. Just throwing shit now. Uh, stuff. Uh, but um, no, I he. <laughs> He, I, I, I love the Mandarin, and his rings are just so, so cool and stylish. I mean, if I had ten rings like that, I would, I would wear them all the time now too. I'll stop talking. Like, you know, you can guy? get ten rings. You can just go buy ten rings. Yeah. yeah. But are they cool and stylish guy? like his? Can I afford them? No. That's not the same guy. Is it? Also, like, oh, I, no, I, I, I love the arm. I love the armbands. It's like it's so cool. From Shang Chi in Iron Man Three, that's not the same guy. Is it? No, no. No, no of course not. That's tough. No, that that yeah, no, Iron Man. No, Iron Man. 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 Iron does anyone know who the spot is? This young gentleman who I've never seen before in my life. <laughs> oh, oh he's, do you have a spot Spider-Man comic in your... Oh, oh he has a yeah. wallet, okay. Okay, so the spot. Imagine Spider-Man's costume and remove the blue and the red and the webbing uh, and it's just white and then do black dots all over it and then in each of those black dots is a portal into another dimension that the spot can reach through and, I don't know, steal from a bank or punch Spider-Man. Oh. There's, there's a great cover, I think, it's done a lot, where Spider-Man is punching the spot through a spot on the spot's chest and Spider-Man's own hand is coming out of the spot's face and punching Spider-Man. He's punching himself like this. Through the spots in your dimension. It's, it's really cool, guys. I know you it's, don't it's, it understand It sounds like a very Peter Parker thing to do. I feel like I am Marty McFly in Back to the Future, and I just finished that guitar solo. <laughs> and like, all right, maybe you guys aren't ready for it yet, but you kids are going to love it in a year, okay? The spot. Hey, Marvin. He got me. Hey, Rick, it's your brother Marvin. You know Marvin Ashley? <laughs> You know that hip new spot mix you wanted? God. <laughs> I feel to this. I feel so old right now. I'm just letting y'all know that. Well, spots. Why, why did you go so obscure? <laughs> I mean, it's a good it choice. It is 
San Diego Comic Con. I yeah. mean, someone else here should know who Spot <laughs> is. There we go. One, exactly. one out of 50 people. This other kid knows. Oh my God. Speaking that of spots. Knows. All righty. And her. The and last him. spot. And the last he, spot. Everybody knows the spot. Okay. Yeah. Well, but, in the last spot of the Anna, day. No. <laughs> I'll Venmo you $20 right now if you just. Not, not, no. No. Do I, I don't yeah. have my phone. I can't confirm. You, but you, but you can trust me. I'll, I'll send you the $20 right now if you back me up on Hulk. Tyler? If you, if no. you don't make, okay. it, you <laughs> don't make your own decision, you Tyler don't need no man's no. money. It's $20. <laughs> Yo, okay. gas is expensive. I'm just saying. Yo, okay. proud independent All right. woman. Make your own decisions. All right, number two. Okay. Hear me out. Green Goblin. Oh, right? Hmm? Yeah, okay. He's, he knows how to psychologically torture Spider-Man. And you know what? Green is the new black. So he rocks his outfit very well. Come on, I'm going with best dress. Oh, okay, okay. Remember? So best dress. He was okay. one of second best dress Marvel villains. Wait. It's not that it's a bad choice. Because he's not really like, a, I mean, isn't he like an actual goblin most of the time? No, he's a guy. Well, he's a guy. He's a, a, goblin. Guy. He's a 616. Yeah. He's just a guy wearing a mask. Like always? Yeah. Not yeah. Into the Spider-Verse 1. Right. They, they use the ultimate Green Goblin for Into the Spider-Verse. That's true. That's, he's ultimate. But the oh. Green Goblin's not a bad choice. I personally just don't like Green Goblin. I always thought he was kind of weird. He's kind of boring. Well, that's why he's the second best Marvel villain. It, it's, again, I'm not... It's a good pick, me personally. I don't like him. I liked William Dafoe. Who does But he also was the best thing in the Death Note movie. So that's not wow. saying much. <laughs> William Dafoe can like... I'm not like, going to go there. <laughs> William Dafoe can describe tea being stirred and it'd be amazing. <laughs> so, like... We ain't ready for that, no. no yeah, that that, that's All right, you have five choices to choose from for the best, second best... Marvel villain of all time. We have Win Woo the man or the Mandarin. All right, let's have <laughs> Good answer. I'll take the Woo and the, and the pity clap. All right, we have Green Goblin. <laughs> we have the Hulk. No. Stop. Yeah, yeah, stop. see? Yes, thank you. Thank you. See? Stop. They understand no. that the car is bad. Bad yeah. audience. <laughs> or the spot. Fans. Hey Tyler. I'm just saying. Hey, Does that sound like? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey Tyler. Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey oh, Tyler. Magneto. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. Boy, so you I forgot. So you lucky sorry. You remember that. Uh, I, remember. I wanted to get through the Hulk we so have, badly. We had two black villains on this list. Killmonger, Magneto. We're going to get one of them. I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. All righty. Lamar won. We have uh, Joss Whedon, Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I ain't going to like this next one either. Oh, you ain't difficult to like my next one. No, I like my next one at all. <laughs> the best Marvel villain of all time. Lamar, who is the best Marvel villain? He ain't got no powers. He ain't got no money. He ain't blow nothing up. What has he done? Talk smack about one villain for his entire adult life. He hates him and lets everybody know about it. He has a blog, a newspaper, a radio oh. station. He does. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson <laughs> is a true villain because hates that mother, hates Spider Man with the passion. Of all conservatism, it's the greatest thing. J. Jonah Jameson in every iteration, every Spider-Man movie, every video game, every comic book. He is nothing but I hate this moment. Did all of y'all really just, y'all all just fell for the black preacher thing? Like straight up, really? <laughs> like y'all just straight up was like, I am committed to this black. Like, this only four and a half of us in here. All five, the black, five and a half. No, five and a half. All the other black people were like, did he really just do this? Like, really at a Comic Con? Like, no, James yeah. Jonah Jameson. And hey, y'all no. are all fair for that. Like, straight up. Do you, better. Do better. You are do better. So, oh, you are such a coco gin. I swear to God. Oh, my God. I swear to God. <laughs> Man, Matt, would you like to go next? Is that what's happening? I'm real I am so ain't following that, so any <laughs> one of y'all can go. No.
Michael? Yeah, I'll go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you also like to do the black preacher voice as well, too? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't open the door and don't uh, walk through. <laughs> I'm a middle-aged white man. I will walk through that door. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to go with my choice for top Marvel supervillain. This guy, he doesn't have any powers either. But he does have a lot of money. He's got a lot of influence. And he's got a lot of style for a plus-size man. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm going with Wilson Fisk, the kingpin of crime. He ruined Daredevil's life on a whim. He, he really ain't got no powers, does he? He's just big. No, he's just a big dude he's who's big dude. like buff and... He just really yeah. loves hugs. He loves hugs. <laughs> he's got a diamond-topped cane. Hot. Hot. That's hot. 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 Yeah, you know, that's right. I will tell that's you. That's a flex, yeah. I will tell you, um, uh, what's the actor's name? He was the... Vincent D'Onofrio? That yeah. guy. His kingpin was almost... Was Pretty much perfect. Not yeah. even almost. That was perfect. I liked Michael Clark Duncan. Michael Clark Duncan was the best part of that. He movie. was not bad. I'll give you that was too. That the yeah. Oh. You just did a black creature voice. You're saying he's not bad? What? Hold on. <laughs> Michael Clark Duncan as Kingpin? That was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. That was so Daredevil, good, uh, the first Kingpin. Daredevil. The Baff. The Wait, the, ben, the Baffleck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. We don't talk about that movie. And he is like, um, he's a good bridge between. The Netflix verse and the MCU. So oh, you know, yeah. He brings universes together I mean, now he just for wearing... evil because he's a bad guy. Kingpin. Going with Kingpin. And now he's wearing Hawaiian shirts. That's like, yeah. <laughs> Have you been a big person, Tyler? Yeah. I mean, he went to kingsize.com. You ain't got money. You wear Hawaiian shirts. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Which is why all my shirts got holes in them. Okay. Anyway. All right. J. Jonah Jameson's good. Um, yeah. Just Filled with hate. I mean, he's a good guy now. I mean, there's a whole... If you're, if you're caught up, you know what I'm talking about. But Kingpin's fantastic. There's an ultimate, an ultimate Marvel villain. The ultimate. The, the one who hates for no... He's a prince and a leader of his own country, and yet he just still hates this guy who stretches across the room because he's just like, hey, me, 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 my mommy. Like, it, like it's, it's all it is. He, he doesn't need, he, he has his own people, he has his own problems to deal with, and yet he's still just like, well, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Like, screw this guy. Dr. Doom is the ultimate, the most amazing villain of all time. I will say in comic books. And he becomes God and is an awesome, like, he's awesome. Like, everybody, like, hates it. They're just like, ah, you're still bad, but, like, you know, we trust you more than we trust the superheroes who want, who want to put our their hands in everything. He's just so, e he's just, he's awesome. He's like the epitome of just like, I'm just so hateful and I'm just gonna let everybody, like I'm gonna ruin everybody's life and usually not do anything and I'll still whine and, and whine moan and, and what? <laughs> Wait, did you say who it was? Dr. No. Doom. Oh, I, I, I legitimately oh! thought you were describing you Namor for, for most of that. <laughs> He just went off on you, the rack. That just made me think Namor and Dr. Doom is the laziest character creation ever. They, they both hate the Fantastic Four, although Namor is like Susan Storm, but like hates the Fantastic Four, has his own kingdom. You just described Namor and Dr. Doom. Yeah, but, yeah, but... Hold on. Na Namor, yeah. Namor's right a lot of the time, like... Namor fucked with Susan, Dr. Doom didn't. That we know of. Get yeah. bodies. Get bodies. <laughs> in wow. fact, I'm pretty sure there's a story where Dr. Doom and Reed switch places and it's implied that... Um, Either way, Dr. Ooh, Doom old, is old Dr. Cat, Doom is the books are rough. <laughs> <sighs> Dr. Dr. Doom is the greatest. I'm so proud of you. you Thank got you. That. I got yeah. one. I got one that was good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good for you, Tyler. All right, fine. Somebody else go. Anna go. <laughs> um, I'm actually really, really mad right now because that was also my number one. Yeah, as it should be. Um. So obviously, I have to pull something from my backup, and I'm not happy about it, but I, I, I also had a really good rant about Dr. Doom, so um, I'm sorry you don't get to hear that. Um, Is it the cloak? That's one sexy cloak, okay. That's a good cloak. Right? Okay, that's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. All right, another person who is stylish, and he likes to play games. Um, number one, Loki. Oh, I thought you were going to say arcade. <laughs> no, 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 what? 
Yes, okay. No, uh, God of Mischief, um, he, he knows his color scheme. He keeps it really well. He loves to mess with people and try to take over the world and his brother, but, you know, he's all right. He's the number one. Alligator Loki. The hair. Uh, the Loki. hair is good. Uh, yeah, he could rock Alligator a man Loki. bun. Uh, Alligator Loki. Uh. Matthew. <laughs> good pick, though. You know what's evil? Capitalism. God dang it. <laughs> oh my God. You know what's evil? Yes. Having the means to help people and choosing not to because you're one of the richest people in the universe. This sounds familiar. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Iron Man? Oh, God. He's true oh, evil. God. He, is the, he is the most evil out of everyone. Because once again, you know what's bad? Capitalism. <laughs> and him had being one of the richest people in the world, obviously got rich from doing some evil things. Um, he was a arms dealer yeah, yeah, and yeah. sold weapons that caused chaos and pain for a lot of countries. Um, yeah. He is narcissistic. He is about himself. And you know, I'm not saying all rich white people are evil, but... <laughs> This is San Diego Comic Con. Someone's listening. I'm sure, and I'm not <laughs> wrong, though. These mics go straight to Jack Bezos. Is up. <laughs> I mean, there's a board member losing their mind right now. <laughs> Iron Man is evil. He has done some very messed up things. Now I understand he did one good thing with a snap, but besides that, selling arms and being rich is bad. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. As someone of color, you understand what I'm saying right now. It's There's not There's only five that, and a half of us in here, but you understand what I'm saying. It's not that I don't agree that 90% of Homeboy's life was problematic. Thank you. But that last 10 was fire, though. That last 10? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> that ten, that ten, last no. 10 was fire, though. <laughs> that still don't count all the other years and everything that Iron Man has done. I'm not no. saying He can I literally... Ain't. Saying world hunger right now, and he still has it. Yeah, Elon Musk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. you. Just I'm that. not yeah. saying you're wrong. No. <laughs> you know I'm right. He is evil. But that last 10. That last year, he could have done he something. He built his salvation in a cave. Though, Good for dog. him. He still <sighs> sold arms and weapons and explosives okay. and, that, and, you know, caused pain. And then, and then he, you know, like, Stopped. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Already. Just because he stopped, that don't mean Not anything. Even. No, okay. yeah, it does. He's still he, rich and evil. He no. kind of made free energy, my dog. Like, no, that yeah. don't mean nothing. He it still didn't end world hunger. He can create a no, new he did like, end world hunger. chemical. He can create a new atom, but still can't end world hunger. No. No, exactly. He's evil. Because he ain't the only one with capitalism, my dog. Exactly, but he's the main one. <laughs> he's just main. one of them. Like, yeah, exactly. They blew up his house. Still evil. <laughs> Elon Musk, yeah. Jeff Bezos, but he like still evil. Jeff Hell's, Bezos, he has, whatever. Yeah, Jeff Bezos, he was <laughs> Josh Whedon, like still evil. He okay, went, he went All to right. space. All right, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All righty, guys, we have Joss Whedon number three, the Magneto number two. Who is number one? Is I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over there first. Is it Kingpin? That's a, good pick, that's a really good pick. That's a good pick. Good, good, pick. good one. Oh. Iron Man. <laughs> All the pity. Once again, there's only five and a half of us here, so I get it. All right. J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> y'all all fell for that black rant. Mm -hmm. Y'all fell for the preacher rant. That's why y'all loved it. Y'all fell for the Loki, Prince of rant. Asgard. Or is it Victor Von Doom? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> y'all all J. fell Jonah for that. J. Jonah Jameson. Hate, 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 hate. <laughs> that is it, the defined list. We're professionals. Joss Whedon, number three. Magneto, number two. <laughs> I got one, I'm cool. <laughs> and J. Jonah Jameson. If your name starts with a J, you're just the best, <coughs> apparently. Alrighty. Let, we don't have time to do the top, the bottom three, unfortunately. We have to do it, we can't do two of them, so we can do the, the bottom two, the two worst Marvel villains of all time. Lamar, you won. Would you like to go first for the second? Yeah, I'll go first. Second worst. Yeah, the second worst. Oh, the second worst. Second worst. Yep. Second worst. I'ma say it anyway. Yeah. The blob. <laughs> you know why it's the blob? Because his only superpower is being fat. He's super fat. That's all it is. 
That's it. He's a little strong. His skin's a little tough. But you know what it really is? He's fat. <laughs> and they put him in like a singlet. They could get him pants. Nope. Man fat. X Men Origins. Man real fat. <laughs> The Blob <laughs> has made two movie appearances. <laughs> One that Wolverine Origins movie, and then they made him a small black child in the movie Hook. <laughs> oh, I hate the Blob ring. so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <I'm> uh, <laughs> Bang around, right. I guess. Okay, let's move on. To I, I, I want to follow that up. You want to follow up? I want to follow that up. Oh, because okay. my, my choice as a good companion uh, for the blob oh, is, God. you know how my, my number one was the kingpin, and he's a big, uh, rich, oh, drug dealing guy. guy. He's yes. a big fat guy. Um, Marvel saw that, and they're like, you know what? This kingpin character, um, this is going to go obscure again, and none of you are going to know this character. Uh, Oh, perfect. You know, he's, he's, he's big, you know, but he's also strong. Uh, what if we had a crime lord who um, was also just morbidly obese, but without the strength? So they created a character named the Slug, who is just a morbidly obese, older white guy who wears sunglasses and a tuxedo. And he just, he, he, he's just fat. That that's he's he's a bad guy, and he's his name is the Slug. He doesn't even get the superpower portion of the Blob. He's just fat. So wait, like so, like well, what has he done as bad? He's a, he's a crime lord. Oh, of course. He's a Let crime lord. Let me tell you lord. something. As someone who's been described as a Slug, doing anything. <laughs> yeah, he's a, um, and the Punisher. <laughs> the Punisher shoots him in the head. That's a wrap on the slug. Because <laughs> he is a dude. That's so sad. <laughs> you, do, you know what? I'll follow up on that one. Are we really doing this? Really? Yo, can we change the number one real quick to diabetes? Like, that's the whole <laughs> <laughs> that's the best villain, okay? Diabetes is the best villain in Marvel Universe. That, okay? I'm just saying. Diabetes is the real villain. Can we change this up? Can we change this up? Like, I feel like we should do that, right? All right. Let me have it. I'm just saying, diabetes is evil, right? All right, thank you. Cool. Diabetes. Tyler? Uh, I'll go. We were talking, we were talking like, the slug. Uh, I mean, he's not big. You know, I don't want, you know, he's not plus size or anything like that. He, he's, just, uh, he's just stupid. It's, he looks so stupid in the comics. He's, like, easily the worst part of the first X-Men movie, Toad. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's just slimy, unneeded. It, it, uh, it, you, you, how do you go from Darth Maul to Toad? Okay, okay, but Tyler, <laughs> it gave us the greatest line <laughs> in, yeah. in, in, in X-Men history. Do you know what happens yeah. when <laughs> Toad gets when hit you... by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. Yeah. And you know who wrote that line? Who? Jojo Weebelow. <laughs> Josh Wheaton. <laughs> did he really? Yeah. Oh, of course he did. Uh, no, Toad, Toad is stupid. He's so... He's just one of those X-Men where you're just like, I just, I, I, I don't know why Marvel was like, are you sure? Like, you sure you want to, you sure yeah. you want somebody to draw this? Like, we're going to pay somebody to draw this? Like, you sure? Yeah, but make Toad a 16-year-old Asian girl and everyone loves her. <laughs> what? Wow. Trumpy no. minor academia, oh. my dog. Oh. Same oh. character. <laughs> I, thought, I heard 6D. I was like, who's, I, who's 16. talking about 6D? I, I was 16. like, <laughs> same character. Tell me Trumpy and Toad aren't the same character. Okay. No. 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 But okay. No, All right, Anna, would you like to go next? <laughs> Sure, why not? It's not going to be as good as your guys', but okay. No. <laughs> Diabetes and warts. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Can't live up to that. No, um, my pick is Whiplash um, mm. from Iron Man 2. That, that, that great Iron Man movie that we all loved. Remember that one? Yes, he's a shit character. No? 
Yeah. You know, I feel like it's like one of those moments, like, I don't know if anybody watch, is on TikTok, where like, whether it's like people who try to control themselves when Aragorn kicks the helmet and like, and somebody's just like staring at the person who's seen it for the first time trying to say that. It's like one of those things where like everybody also like, Whiplash is so bad that it's two Marvel villains smashed together for that movie. It's like, one of the, it's like one of those trivia things that like I always want to say every time I watch that movie with, like with my wife and I'm just like, I gotta just bite my tongue. Nobody cares about this, but it's, it's no. such a good trivia that he's such a bad character that they had to smash two villains together to make him. And he was still the worst. Yeah. He was still the worst, mumbling all about his parrot or bird, whatever. Um, yeah, so he is the worst. Yeah, I agree with you. That, that whiplash sucks. And he really should have taken a shower at some point. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, bloody ew. Bloody ew. Matt. Cool. Uh, Modoc. Um, oh if, my God. No. If we're talking no. about fat people and all that, look, Modoc. <laughs> <laughs> he's not fat. He has a big head. He has a big head and just floats around. He's pretty large, right? Look, Modoc. Have you seen the animated series that's on Hulu? Like, it's so good. Like, I can't hate Modoc because I now sympathize with him. And he's so awesome. He just has a giant head. And he's trying his best as a villain, but not really. And he kind of sucks at being a villain. But you just feel for him. And you love his smile because he's somehow... And I love Pat Oswalt. Like, he's like the dopest person ever. And he voices Modoc. And I can't hate that, which makes him the worst villain because he doesn't seem like a villain. He just seems like someone that there is struggling. Go. And he's doing his best. And even though he does some evil things, he's not really doing evil things because they never succeed. What? Do you even know what Modoc said? Never mind. Okay. Thank All you. right, we're going to go to Modoc <laughs> now because no. All righty, guys. Who is the second worst Marvel villain of all time? <laughs> is it going to be Toad? Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is it going to be Whiplash? Thank you. Take a shower, people. Is it going to be The Blob? Really? Really? Modoc? Thank you, thank right. you. Great villain. Or the slug. Yeah. I would say that's the right choice, slug. Fine. Good argument. Slug is the, is the second worst, but the worst of all time. Michael Tanner, would you like to tell us? And we only have eight minutes left. All right, so my number one worst villain is Egghead. Oh no. Now who's uh, Egghead? Oh. Egghead is Ant-Man's number one villain. How bad is Egghead? Egghead's not even in the Ant-Man movies. That's how bad he is. They won't even put him in a movie. I rest my case. So you want art? I'll, I'll go. Oh, no. You go ahead. No, you, I'm, no. Please. Go, please go. Okay. Please go. I, I, I know I, I, I skimmed over Modoc because I don't think he belongs on this list. But this one I sincerely do, and I've had a thousands of conversations with people telling me that I'm wrong, and I know I'm right. Uh, I hate Galactus. I think Galactus is stupid. No. He is so dumb. Yeah. yeah, I said it. It's stupid. He's just a big. He's just a big guy who just sends yeah, yeah. other people to go and say something, and then he comes and tries to eat the planet, and he fails almost every single time. He's so useless and stupid, and I just cannot wait to see him on screen, just so I can be like, "Yep, this is the end of the MCU." Like, because I'm just. It's just. It's, just, it's a dumb concept. I just. I hate him. Yep. I hate him. It's so stupid. Do you hate it's him? So dumb. I, I do. All right, I'll go. I can't tell. Um, Thank you. <laughs> the worst Marvel villain of all time is Killmonger, because we really understand what happened. We get it. Wait, what? Killmonger. <laughs> yeah, we, we get it. What, did you really deserve? No, you're good. As long as two Tolkien white guys didn't show up, everything been fine. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Anna? Anna, you want to go? Okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? The worst. Marvel villain of all time is something called the Eternals movie. Well, <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. 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 You I know what I'm talking first, about. Yeah. If you see that movie, you want your time back, okay? You want your time back, your life back. That movie is the worst thing that was ever put out. I like it. No, no, no. No, you didn't. No. Absolutely yeah, not. I hated Sprite, but I liked the movie. What was there to like? There was nothing Camille to like. Camille Johnny being like the, the oh, sexiest. Oh. He got, he was what, in there for like five minutes? It was the best five minutes though. Oh God, he couldn't save it. He couldn't save it. Gemma Chan, which is the whole time. No, it was just wrong. It Angelique was the worst. Angelina Jolie had two acting things. 
See? <laughs> See? It was just the worst. It she, should just go down as the worst. She slept, too. She, she took a nap in the I'm movie, sorry. too. Yeah, there we go. She has range. <laughs> and there was an unnecessary scene in the beginning. We did not need to see that. It was the most awkward thing in the world. I just don't understand why like, we've had all these shows and movies after it and not one person in any of this is talking about a big red no. monster thing in the sky. Because they know it's that bad. They're not going to talk about it. <sighs> the worst. Speaking of things that bad, Matt. Yes, okay. So, I was going to say my top number one, but you know what? I'm back at Anna 100%. The Eternal movies was pretty bad. It was rough. That's the, that is so bad. No, I hate Anna, you, both. you have my support 100. percent I agree with you. Yes. I hate Boom. you both. Okay, so the people who chose that Joss Whedon's the third best villain of Marvel. I've already uh, won already with Joss Whedon. Hell yeah. Let's figure out what the worst Marvel villain of all time is. Is it Galactus? Yeah. No one gives us. No one. It's fine. I deserve it. I'm, but I'm gonna die on that hill. Alrighty. Uh, I'll save you later. Uh, Egghead. Yay. Killmonger. Woo! That's the worst? Yeah. Sexy. We understand. That we understand. <laughs> yes! All, all yes! five and a half, yeah. Yes! Or is it really the Eternals movie? Yeah. Well, Thank you. Good Thank you. Yeah. Good pick. Time two. Week. All righty, congratulations. <laughs> the, uh, win the winner is a tie between Matt and Lamar. Congratulations, you guys. Um, and before we go, uh, again, we're on YouTube where we do top five, bottom three. We also have a challenge card. It's a lot of fun. We have amazing guests, and season three starts in September. And we have some really awesome stuff. We also do some food reaction videos that, where we rank some stuff as well. Lord of the Rings uh, food one coming out soon. And, uh, yeah, I'm Tyler, your host. And we'll go down there to where the guests first. Where can they find you, and who are you again? Uh, my name is Michael Tanner. You can find me on my website, bymichaeltanner.com. That's bymichaeltanner.com. All righty. Matthew? Uh, top of the morning, lives of the lassies. My name is Lamar the Con Guy. That's L-E-M-A-R-D the Con Guy. You can find me on Twitch, uh, Instagram, Snapchat? Snapchat, right? Maybe? No. Snapchat. Only no Snapchat? Only TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. Remember, that's Lamar the Con Guy. That's L-E-M-A-R-D the Con Guy. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Coco Jens? My name is Matthew Johnson. <laughs> I run a streetwear company <laughs> called NerdyBit.com. It's NerdyBit.com. But I'm not the actual guy. My significant other is the real CEO. Other than that, I wear glasses and beanies and like to cause chaos. And every once in a while, say the N-word. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> All right. And anyway. <laughs> Anna. Uh, Hi, I'm Anna. You can find me on social media at Anna Voltage, or you can find me when I'm not on the most extreme ranking challenge show. I am on my podcast, Pop Prison Power, or the Stuff and Junk Show. Hey. Uh, <laughs> once again, most extreme ranking challenge is available on all podcast networks and also on YouTube. And I really highly suggest to come to our seventh unnecessary debate at San Diego Comic Con <laughs> ever. Right across the star, in the next room over at 23 ABC tomorrow night at 8 p.m. We have Olivia Olson from Adventure Time. She was Marceline. We also have uh, Michael Tanner. We have Lamar here. We have Derek Murray, who's a comedian and, a, and also a uh, critic. And we also have Don Nguyen, who is an amazing uh, Marvel uh, artist for Marvel at, uh, and uh, a Top Deck and a bunch of other stuff as well. And am I missing somebody else? And Utahime Cosplay, who's like the, one of the best cosplayers of all time. And uh, yeah. We will see you hopefully tomorrow night at 8 p.m. I hope you had fun and check us out on YouTube and subscribe. Yeah. Ah! Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Ah! Ah! Alrighty, I'll take a picture. Yo, real quick though, Thanos did nothing wrong. I'm just saying that real quick. Thank you. Let's get this picture. Hmm? Thank you guys. What?